thrilling, massive battle royale featuring these dinosaurs. Hatchling Baby Edition. Welcome back, Dinosaur and Jurassic World and Park fans to Jurassic World Evolution 2 with another Battle Royale episode featuring and continuation of the Baby Dinosaur Showcase in, it in this game. As you can see, we are on side B, of course, Jurassic Park 2's map, and we have in the hatcheries Baby Dinosaurs, Allosaurus and Kylosaurus, a little bumpy, Baryonyx, all with their maximum egg batches there, Carnotaurus, Dilophosaurus, then in the second one, we have Dreadnoughtus, a sauropod, Gigantoraptor, Giganotosaurus, Parasaurolophus, a Pachycephalosaurus, and finally, we have Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and Baby T-Rexes, which will all battle each other in this rather adorable small battle royale enclosure there. Now, this is absolutely beautiful. Cast your votes. Who do you think will win between all these baby dinosaurs? They will be released and they will battle each other. But first, of course, we have to release them. So without further ado, let's release once again the baby dinosaurs. Here we have the first competitors, Allosaurus, with different skins and patterns as well. Which looks absolutely adorable. Welcome back. Now, this will be a proper fight episode. Because in the previous showcase and episode, we released them with their parents. Go check that video if you have not already. It's on the channel. But then we actually analyzed all of the animation skins and etc. But now they are in the beautiful enclosure we see right here. We will take a tour soon after re we released all of them. So here we have baby ankylosaurus's let's see if we get a little bumpy eh, that's a little baby bumpy right there the darker green one it should have been a little bit brighter but <laughs> there's a, it's only a matter of chance to get a bumpy skin out of the random ones but look at that they are all on default modifications so no maximum ones the nature life will uh, decide on who will win but they will come in maximum batches because otherwise, well, we won't see if some dinosaurs fight other dinosaurs. Let's go Baryonyx from the Camp Cretaceous series. Look at that. Oh, that's adorable. These are amazing. Look at that. <laughs> Welcome to the arena. Now, they won't battle each other yet. And don't worry, they won't starve or dehydrate either because that's in the sandbox we are right now. It's toggled on. So... They will just roam around for the time being to give us a little chance to, of course, release them. There we go. Beautiful Carnotauruses. Wow. A baby battle royale is about to begin. That's the first ever in this game. Let's release a Dilophosaurus next to Mr. DNA. I saw him there for a, a slight second. <laughs> oh my word. There's a lot of them. There are a lot of Dilophosauruses. Wow. And that's one left, and they hop around. I, um, we're going to see if you guys can actually fight. Look at that. <laughs> Hello, Mr. DNA. Saying uh, goodbye to the, uh, well, I wanted to say compies, but no, they are Dilophosaurus. And here we have just one, though. One Dreadnoughtus. Here we go. Beautiful. Ah. Sort of sad. Where are the parents now? They're still on Isla Nubla, the other island. <laughs> enjoying a little vacation away from the kids <laughs> so here we have them this is an accurate uh, representation soon for an actual kid park of all the kids <laughs> just trying to claim all the, the swings and slides and etc here we have a beautiful well what prehistoric turkey accurate size now that's amazing welcome back <laughs> That's uh, so cool. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on with the Gigas. That is actually cool. Whoa! Jumping in. I didn't realize that last time. Or I didn't see it. Or I did. If I've already forgotten it. Whoa! 360! Look at what an entrance! Normally the Allosauruses did that. But here we have the baby Gigas. Oh, that is adorable. Look at that. Oh, we already see some social animations there. But we don't have time for that. We will see. We must see battles soon. That's what the talking, <laughs> I guess, Indoraptor is all about. To see the dinosaurs actually face off each other in combat. 
Colossal Entertainment. I'm not sure if Colossal is the correct word to use now, but sure enough entertainment there. Because, well, we always see the adults sort of battle each other for dominance. And now we will see the youngsters trying to survive for themselves as if the, their parents already kicked them out the nest, so to speak. So that is the last one, Pachycephalosaurus. Now going on to the final one, which releases a solo. That's the maximum batch for it. I'm so sorry. The Spinosaurus. So it will be a solo Spinosaurus. Oh, bless it. Look at that. Oh, I feel kind of bad for you, Spinosaurus. But here we go. Nonetheless, you look absolutely adorable. Now, let's release six. <laughs> Quite the contrary. Six Lost World Baby Stegosauruses. And these are the slowest babies. Even slower than Dreadnoughtus. I believe so. Yep, there you go. They are <laughs> hypnotized by... Uh, cameras and then the mother comes rushing in okay so let's speed it up real quickly because you guys are way too slow oh there's still one in there whoa we pointed the camera into the hatchery is there still one there are you there i don't know what is but i clicked on one stick source and it's still in there now moving on to triceratops Maybe a Stegosaurus that's stuck in there still uh, <laughs> gets released alongside the Triceratops. We've got an imposter. <laughs> Which one is not a Triceratops? And all of a sudden, baby Stegosaurus comes running up <laughs> quickly. Do we do have six Stegosaur Stegosauruses, don't we? One, two, three, four. No, we don't. It's actually stuck in there. Okay, yep. There's a cut in the video right here because I had just had to move a thousand dinosaurs. Because we have baby raptors. And I'm a particular fan of these ones. The question is, do we have a beta? That is the real question. We don't have a beta. We can't forget beta, of course. That's... No. We have to include beta. Because that's part of the whole package deal as well. So here we have a beta. Once again, away from her mother, Blue. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I deleted one other raptor, so the maximum is still six to make it, of course, fair. Watch out for that baby triceratops or... Whoa! Look <laughs> You are uh, quite the velociraptor indeed. And now, you might be wondering why I can't release a baby T-Rex. Well, it's because of all these dinosaurs are blocking the entrance. That's <laughs> they all do not wish for the baby T-Rexes to join the arena. But either way, they're in luck. I can't release them anyways. Because if I do release them, the game will crash. So I have to spawn them uh, manually. No, nope, that's a little bit too big. There we go. No, nope, there's a feathered one right there. Look at that. We will act as if they spawned right there. Yes, absolutely beautiful. And then with a different skin right next to each other. Beautiful. We have baby T-Rexes. Getting released right there. Awesome. <laughs> Two baby T-Rex and they don't know what to do. What to do and where to go. Oh my word, how did we get here? Look at that. <laughs> this is the release animation. Yes, beautiful. So now we have all the baby dinosaurs in the enclosure. So let's have a look around. We have a horde of babies right here going to well, a little spa area we see right here, a little dig site. Beautiful with John Hammond standing right there with all of his pride. Look what you created. And then we have a nice little fountain there on this side. We have a resting area for more of the dinosaurs and showcasing. We have some beautiful logs for scenery, of course, and even a cave we can go through right there. That is beautiful. The Allosaurus likes that very much. Then over here we have once again Mr. DNA. Hello! Wave to Mr. DNA. Anyways, moving on to more skeletons and beautiful sceneries. We have a zip line with... Hey, Dreadnoughtus would like to go for a ride. <laughs> right there, more logs. And we finish off with a T-Rex adult skeleton right there. So I think I really like this enclosure and it suits it best for a park. Now, all these dinosaurs are, of course... I do have to mention mods. Uh, Frontier does not officially spot these mods. If you wish to use these mods, it's on you and your responsibility. Of course, your game might crash and etc. And other stuff may happen because this... This is, the, this is made by a secret lab and that is... <laughs> Through the Mitchell Productions and all these scenery items were made by RadR1985, who made some of the 
of course, best scenery items in the game yet yeah, with the Dominus Rex and T-Rex Kingdom. And now he has created more petting sceneries for, of course, baby dinosaurs, which I thought would suit it very much. So here we are, and we shall, of course, activate battle frequency for all these dinosaurs to finally battle each other. Who cares your votes one last time because the battles are about to begin. Now, these dinosaurs are looking at each other like, oh, this is not going to be going well. We have a couple of packs of Taurus, no, not Taurosaurus, Tor Toro, but Carnotaurus. We have a Carnotaurus eyeing an Allosaurus already over here. And we have our first battle and it is Beta battling a Dilophosaurus right there or has begun hunting it down. I'm not too sure. I can't even zoom in that much. We have a battle between two Pachycephalosauruses too. But going back to this side, we have to actually zoom in or something like that if they do decide to battle there. And the Dilophosaurus is skedaddling and running away. To be expected, you don't want to face off against Beta. We have Dilophosaurus versus Oh, Finally, Velociraptor. Will they battle? No, they won't. We have a Carnotaurus versus Carnotaurus, their own kinds. Oh, my word, what a battle. Oh, <laughs> Dr. Henry, I'm so sorry for, to showcase that. Look at that battle sliding animation. Oh, what is going on? Look at that tail slam. That is beautiful. So this is actual documentation of how baby dinosaurs are supposed to fight. Look at these dinosaurs fighting. <laughs> I did not expect this. Well, I thought the animations to work s somewhat, but look at that. And Carlosaurus versus Allosaurus. That's not really going too well. Allosaurus, oh, is kicking the Ankylosaurus baby though. Yeah, the animations are a little bit too bug because they are baby dinosaurs. And not by, made by Frontier, but so this is the maximum compatibility that they can be showcased in. Look at that, <laughs> more dis <laughs> intimidation displays there. Triceratops versus Triceratops, and don't think that's gonna go continue there. Let's put everything on triple speed because most of them are just, well, eyeing each other right there. Right there, and Triceratops looking at, ooh, Baryonyx right there. Look at that, a kick to the horns right there. Ooh, the, the Triceratops has already damaged quite a few. The baby Baryonyx tried to get an angle on the baby trike there. Where are the parents where you need them? Oh, my word. We got so many dinosaurs running around. The baby Spino is just relaxing. Right there. <laughs> he does not mind um, anything at all. The baby T-Rex is uh, admiring Mr. DNA right there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, we got shot almost into Isla Nublar right there. We have... Is this Beta? No, it's just a Velociraptor. Probably going to hunt another Velociraptor. Then we have the Gigantoraptor. Going to battle something. Dilophosaurus versus... Oh, my word. You're getting squashed. <laughs> Dilophosaurus is like, oh god, no, please don't. <laughs> I know what you're about to do, but please don't spare me. <laughs> the Allosaurus, most of the babies' tactic is just to turn their backs on the opposite opponent. Yeah, that's just their battle tactic. An intimidation display, and then they run off. That's pretty much it, but the hunger is on, and they do not have food. Only water, that tiny little fountain. So if do, they do not uh, sort of defeat something then, uh, well, it's not really going to end well for them. The Parasaurolophuses are running out of there. Look at that. Baryonyx is... Or Gigantoraptor is getting in between the lines right there. You see Triceratops in the background enjoying the enclosure. The Dilophosaurus trying to fight. There's so many fights happening, but, n but no actual fights. Carnotaurus versus Baryonyx right there. I'm not even going to click on that. Okay, I do have to click on that. Oh, we have another one. Baryonyx versus... Oh, that's an actual fight, though. Here we go. Ooh. That is an actual confrontation between the Baryonyx and Carnotaurus. Ooh, which one wins? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. It <laughs> Did that miss? It looked like it missed. But that was a cool move, nonetheless. 29% health versus 76. The Barry will win. And then we have a skateboarding Dilophosaurus. That's always cool to see. Then we have another Dilophosaurus, and T-Rex has begun hunting down the para. <gasps> oh, that's going to be interesting to see. The baby Rexy, look at that. Oh, and the baby para. Oh, my gosh. Magical powers gets deleted. Wow. He's like, how would you do that? Teach me your ways. What did you do? Oh, gosh. No, this is sad. The first actual unalive dinosaur. 
is here. And it's actually Para this time. So it is the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World Universe. The Gigantoraptor has begun hunting now. Tyrus has begun hunting down another. Oh, a Pachycephalosaurus. No way. Okay, here we go. The Pachycephalosaurus is in a lot of trouble. Here we go. Let's try to run away. This is like running in your dreams. Oh my gosh, he gets shot into space and twisted. What are these magical dog powers? Oh my gosh. And it's down. T-Rex, what kind of powers do you possess? What is this witchcraft right there? That's amazing. Uh, in this case, though, uh, we have another power. That's the other power. Oh, the powers are going down. Hey, the baby Gigas are doing well with the beautiful T-Rex. Oh, look at that. This is a beautiful shot with the T-Rex skeleton in the background. I think it's running towards something. I don't know what you're running towards to. A Stegosaurus, or I think you're just casually running away from a Taurosaurus. Oh, the Spidosaurus is running as well. They're all running. Why are they all running? <laughs> The Lophosaurus has begun hunting down a Dilo. Uh, they all have begun hunting down a Para. They are taking them down. They all communicated and was like, you know what? These guys need to go. Whoa, full flip. Oh, my word. <laughs> the war is happening. Then we have Spinosaurus battling. Or not battling anymore. The Gigantoraptor has been taken down by the Spinosaurus. Then we have, oh, the T-Rex, ah, oh, in the little, oh my gosh, and down it goes. We've got so many unalive dinosaurs, but so many icons left. This is crazy. I thought I needed the, uh, to release the actual adults to make the, the battles happen, but no, there are so many, and it's all paras. Tried to count the paras. I doubt that there is one left. We have a default berry stuck. Just looking eyes wide open and being surrounded by Dylos. Look at that. The pack hunting has begun. Oh my gosh. You uh, better look out. You are absolutely shocked. <laughs> you don't know what to do. Baryonyx has been hunting down Apache. No. These bite the dust. They do not battle whatsoever. You get shot into the air again. I can just put the camera up here because I know you're going to be shot into space any second now. Or just actually roar at it. Is it an actual legit one? No, no, it's not. Okay, so they won't actually do anything. But the baby Giga is eyeing the baby Connor right there. You can easily defeat it. Thrash it around. Right there. Another. Oh, against each other. Ooh. And then we have another one. Every. <laughs> there's a battle happening every five seconds. They say Beta is actually going to battle. It is hungry. So it is supposed to battle, but it's not battling anything. Even the adult Ankylosaurus is being surrounded by the Velociraptors, but they can't pack hunt it. They can't. Toro, the baby Toro, will actually battle the Stegosaurus we have right there. Stegosaurus. Oh my gosh, the sliding abilities. That's one of its super moves. And then, does it even have scars? I'm not too sure. Ooh, we see a baby trike running in the background, scared. They're trying to go to the resting area. Uh, but no, we have a Baronux really fighting a trike right now. Let's see the health. Ooh, 67%. That oh, it's shaking. Oh, no, it doesn't know what to do. That's so sad. Oh, no. Okay, let's quickly go to another one. Hey, the Giga has finally uh, decided to battle something. The two duo Gigas right there against the Carnotaurus. So we don't have any other baby dinosaurs. Whoa, another kick attack. Look at that. That is pretty cool. So these are the maximum ones right there. 15 baby uh, dinosaur types. We don't have baby Indominus Rexes yet or baby Indoraptors. But when they come, ooh, they will join the battle for sure. And the baby Gigas. What is going on in the background? Why are these two running like crazy? Calm down. Which one actually won? I'm not too sure. Oh, no way. No way, is that an aloe? That's a baby aloe? No, it's not big owl. It's little owl. Little owl has gone down by Carnotaurus. 75%. And where's the Carno that battled it? 86? Was that the one? I'm not too sure. It's actually begun eating from one of the paras, though. That is... ah, oh, so sad. How many paras do we have left? I doubt that we have one left. Okay. Uh, unalive. Hunted down. Hunted down. Hunted down. Oh, these are just the two remaining ones. The other ones have been decayed already. 
Uh, Allosaurus is still left. Allosaurus is still in the game. The Jurassic Hunter versus the Jurassic Herbivore. Stegosaurus right there and actually battling it. Ooh, watch out for those tiny little Thagomyces. They are still deadly. They can still impale you, definitely. Along with the, the spikes on its back there. I want to say dorsal place, but <laughs> I had Godzilla in my head. <laughs> and then the Baryonyx versus Ankylosaurus. The Anki. The little little Bumpy right there. We should name it Bumpy. But not Bumpy. Bumpy. There we go. Bumpy is still in the game. Look at that. Nothing wants to battle against it. They know what it can do later on versus Toro. And then it has begun hunting down Apache as well. The Allosaurus uh, needs some much needed food. It needs to. So now we will actually begin um, fighting. Here we have a baby Triceratops versus the baby Giga right there. And surrounding it to his back. Yeah, that's a very good strategy by the baby Giga. They learn early to uh, avoid those big three horns right there. But Will can get an opening and they both run away. Look at all these. Uh, they're all still surrounding the, the Baryonyx. It's stunned. Wow, what a strategy. They don't have to battle other dinosaurs. Hey, hey, the Dreadnoughtus is still alive. I, hope, <laughs> I don't think for long, though. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, it's been taken down. It's been dragged by the Giga. Oh, no. No. Is it still alive? Oh, my gosh, the scars. No, it does go down. The baby Dreadnoughtus, there's only one of it. And down it goes. I was going to say that these dinosaurs are, I think, considered out. They are unalive because they, well, the baby Dylos and the baby Velociraptors have come up with a strategy to um, avoid confrontation with any other baby dinosaurs while they just um, infinitely, just <laughs> forever stuck in this animation and captured a, well, a baby dinosaur there until they starve. Can they starve? That's the next question. Do they actually starve? So that is the actual strategy. Oh, they do. So they starve it to... Wow. But they are actually starving more. So this might work against and not in their favor. Okay, Baryonyx tried to kick the Toro. That is, wow, that is a very cool strategy that's not in the main game by these baby dinosaurs. We have a lot of dinosaurs left. Look at all of that. Velociraptor has actually begun battling the Baryonyx now. Oh, it's hunting it. It's locked it. It's forever in the locking. Oh, strategy. No way. All right, down goes the Baryonyx. Down it goes. That is an actual strategy. And now they're just <laughs> staring towards the sliding, both sliding. Who has the best slide attack? <laughs> that's, the, that's the better question right there. 52% versus oh, 100. Okay. So we have a lot of battles remaining. A lot of them are starving. Yeah, this is working against the herbivores, though. It is working against them, but they also fight against each other. Against each other. The Triceratops, they are getting hungry. Same goes for the Carnotauruses. Wow, okay. Let's actually um, remove some of the dinosaurs to give an edge to the herbivores. And let's because I can't look at that anymore. The poor baby dreadnoughts. Maybe that's why they don't have it in the main game. M maybe <laughs> it's because it's just too sad. But you know, the franchise movies and etc. have introduced it. We still have a uh, prehistoric Thanksgiving turkey uh, in the actual arena. Spinosaurus is still there. Hopefully, you do not get locked. And oh my word, the helicopters are n might be glitching out there. Spinosaurus will be confronting the Triceratops, but will move away. So that's still in the game. Then we have another Carnotaurus. There are still a lot left. And Gigas also begun uh, fighting the other one. Gigas are both still in the game. And it actually has begun hunting down a Dilophosaurus. But it ran out of stamina. Okay. Stegosaurus has begun hunting down, or no, not hunting down, that's the wrong word. There are stu still two T-Rexes in the game. This T-Rex is eyeing the massive sauropod there. Oh no, they have found a new victim. Oh, it's the Gigantoraptor. It's starving. The Dilophosaurus is no. Ankylosaurus versus Bumpy? That's new. Hmm, probably just a confrontation. That's it. Yeah, 
let's speed it up real quickly because every second there's something new. There's so many. How many Carnotauruses are still in the game? That's the next question. I think all of them. Yeah. Oh, no, we're missing one. We're missing the first one. How many Dalos are still in there? And literally all of them, but they are starving. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. And we have the first one. Dilophosaurus has... Uh, oh, the Gigantoraptor is hunting it once again. Where even is it? What are you trying to hunt down? There's no Dilo in the area. Apart from that one that's literally uh, running towards you. Is it that one? It is that one. It's trying to hunt it down, but it's way too fast. Look at it sprint out of there. There's no way you can catch it. Oh, it actually caught it. No way. It pecked it quickly. <laughs> there you go. So they are actually running out of time. Wow, okay. Let's actually remove some of these. And the Carnotaurus has begun hunt what no hunting down. <laughs> Battling the T-Rex right there. T-Rex is looking at the Carnotaurus like, are you sure you want to do this? That is the question. Spinosaurus versus what is it? Carnotaurus, of course it is. So many dinosaurs are being locked in. Is the Allosaurus being locked in? No, it's not. It's just standing there in the battle stance. No, no, no. They're surrounding the Gigantoraptor. So the Allosaurus is still free. And might need some food soon. It's once again... These are just picking off the uh, baby Dilos right there. That is sad. But the Dilos are... Yeah, they're not well trained yet. These are not the Dilos that can take down... Uh, that is <laughs> right there. No, it cannot. Oh, it actually missed it. Ran out of stamina once again. Giga taken on the Stegosaurus right there. Wow, there are a lot left. I have yet to see a Stego going down. They're full of their armor right there. Let's see about the Stegosaurus. They are low health though. Low health. And all of them are still in the game. Triceratops. What about the Allosaurus though? This one's low in health. That one's still in. They're all still in the game too. Triceratops is very low. It might actually go down by this Allosaurus soon enough. And maybe if it can't heal up, it will go down. Then we have Bumpy versus a 360 Carnotaurus. That's always cool to see. They learn early. And then we have a Barry versus a uh, Thanksgiving Turkey once again. Giga versus. There's so much, but they all just run away. They don't actually, they make up the mind. <laughs> They don't want to battle it. Bumpy is looking for food. That was supposed to be their strategy. There is food around. Uh, Carnotaurus. All of them are still in. They're beginning to starve. They need food soon. A lot of red icons right there. But not going for the Dilos. They are starving. But they're going down so slowly though. So slow. So slow. We have the Spinosaurus once again. Trying to take on the baby one. Uh, beta is actually away from the curse Did they actually manage to take that one down or out? It is is it? No, they didn't capture a triceratops They captured a gigantoraptor and another one stegosaurus trying to defend itself And then spinosaurus taking on the triceratops bumpy once again fighting the giga Then <laughs> so many confrontations. It's endless. That's why I have it on triple speed all of them and I'm very keen to see who will actually survive. Because this is... I cannot... I don't know. I literally don't know. I think, of course, one of the carnivores. I think the baby carnivores, you know, they don't depend on their uh, parents anymore for food. And this is, well... This is a uh, very interesting battle. Because, yeah, they literally just <laughs> got free of their nest. And their eggs. And they're already trying to survive in the wild. Right there. Maybe something like this happened as well. And it would be cool. We sort of saw this in Dominion. You know, in Malta. When they were battling the baby uh, Baryonyx. And, or no, the Oviraptor. But that's considered an adult, right? Yeah. In the Lystrosaurus. But, you know, they are tiny little dinosaurs. So we saw something like that. And there we go. So something like this isn't totally new. But it is through this game. But wow, we have a lot of red icons. Oh, they're all beginning to be purple. Yeah, it's we're we're almost in the end game now. The Giganotosaurus, if they don't continue to hunt down something, they will go down. Stegosaurus, the first Stegosaurus. I'm so sorry, Doctor. This first Stegosaurus, of course, he <laughs> began notifying me after that one went down. 
Stegosauruses are not doing so good. They need to take something down. They're looking at freedom and that big pile of something. And we have a Dilo. <gasps> the Carnotaurus is in the circle of doom. There should be a proper name for this strategy. <laughs> the circle of stun. Fending off the Lophosaurus pack. That's what uh, it says right there. I don't know if I... No, I can't move this box out of the way. So sorry, my massive interrupter head is in the way. But it says offending off the Love Source pack. Cohabitation issue. And they will starve it to... Yeah. Literally for it to be uh, knocked down later. So how many Stegosaurus do we still have? Left? Oh, they're running out. They're starving. They are starving. That's not a good sign. The Gigas will take them down. The Triceratops. This one's still in. The guy, the raptor, is still 100%. Wait a minute, health, and it has zero food. Fending off, what do you mean? How is it doing that? The herbivores, they have powers, these ones as well. Do they actually cannot be, they won't starve. Look at that, okay. So they won't starve, but they have zero food. That is interesting, that is very interesting, okay. Well, that is sort of a, a cheat right there. Oh, and the Triceratops has finally gone down. They have finally gone down. Okay, for the sake of it, um, I think this Gigantoraptor will go... Um, if I actually sort of remove that, the other Dilophosaurus will go down in hunger, I think. So they all sort of have been eliminated. But we have a baby Barry trying to... It's actually bigger than the baby T-Rex. That's a fun fact right there. Uh, T-Rex is still 100% health. It did not take any damage. Wow. Look at that. It's like, yeah, it didn't. It kind of missed it. Realistically. It even took it down. How? It The Barry attacked the baby T-Rex. And it went down. It, <laughs> it failed the kick. That, that, that fall uh, was more severe damage than the T-Rex bite. That it would inflict right there. Right there, Giga kicks it, but will Kika take, um, Giga take the damage? No. It will! <laughs> 20% health! This is the moment that the Giga might go down! Giga might go down any second now! Panicking, 11! Oh, it's running close! What about the other Giga? Oh, that one's doing fine. <laughs> 100%. Okay, so if I do actually remove the- oh, that's the trike. If I do remove the turkey, from the arena right there because it is considered pack hunted down so what will happen now comfort will go up but yeah the health will go down yeah the health will go down drastically it's still in slow motion it's still in slow motion but they kind of have a cheat strategy and then they will he um heal up okay so they have been disqualified it's only fair they have been disqualified they need because i don't this is beyond my control of course they have to be removed because that's a little bit of a cheat where they heal up and well same for you you all have to go right there you're if you battle like that then that is not fair towards the other one so they have been rightfully removed right there and let's remove some of the other ones as well <laughs> so sorry baby giga <laughs> uh, <laughs> i already tried to remove you from the enclosure right there uh, let's remove you all. Oh, there are a lot. There are a lot, but you're you're not down yet But you are going down 4% there were you know the bodies were around You that's not um, that was not me and Spinosaurus has begun battling the Giga. Oh, this is a baby fight I actually want to see now. I want to see the Spino fighting off a T-Rex That's what I want to see as well and which one? Oh, the battle's already over. Let's see who won 80% 74 that is a close one a very close one wow okay so there we go that is a close encounter right there and when we have the giga it is gone we have our first big theropod dinosaur so to speak it's still baby but you know when it's adult it's big it's out of there and it's not only the herbivores that are biting the dust it is gigas like this who don't know that they can just heal up by literally eating some of the other dinosaur uh, corpses that are lying around. So, yeah, that is going down. And the berry and these ones as well. Yep, they have gone down. The aloe is fighting this Carnotaurus right now. 100% aloe with another kick. 
which does now finally inflict damage to the opposing dinosaur. There we go, 84% but did get some damage. Yeah, it's close to 70 and it's going, oh my god, it's going crazy. Look at these helicopters trying to pick up some of the, oh, bye baby Giga. There you go. The baby Giga gets, uh, well, <laughs> gone to it. Oh, what, what? How are you, you guys were in the enclosure. How are you right there? I'm afraid if I can, oh, I can actually remove them. But I'm not too sure how that would work. But the, because the literal bodies of them aren't considered there. I think these helicopters will stay stuck there forever. Or will they actually fish out a dinosaur? Moment of truth. They will. But they act, I, we actually saw them battle. Ooh, we have an angry Spinosaurus baby right there. Eyeing something. And it is <laughs> sliding in T-Rex. And here we go. A baby T-Rex versus baby Spino. That was a quick uh, kick right there. Another kick by the Spino. Look at how it's much bigger than the baby T-Rex. But they look so adorable. Look at that. Come on. <laughs> you got this T-Rex. And you got this too Spino. Who will win? Oh, here's the moment of truth. A hundred percent. 100% versus 48. How? Oh my word. Okay, well, the adult Spinos are normally much uh, <laughs> stronger than adult T-Rexes. The baby T-Rexes, whoa, are uh, literally uh, gods against the baby Spinos right there. Okay, so we have a low health Carnotaurus versus, oh, Allosaurus. Yeah, the Allosaurus might take down the actual Carnotaurus. And down it goes, yep, there it goes. And these ones, yep, they have been disqualified as well. They need to be removed because you are all locked in. And it's only fair right there. Two Velociraptors done and one Baryonyx. These ones as well. So many Raptors, all three Raptors. Oh no, there's the Dylos. Okay, all of them have gone down. Oh, it's a little bit unfair though that I have to do this. But it's the only way for me to actually do this. The Carnotaurus, because it, once again, if I remove them, they will go down so slow. And, well, the Carnotaurus or Baryonyx before would have a fighting chance of, of course, defending itself and actually defeating some of these Dylos. So, in, in this case of three, I will actually remove two. And the one that's running away right there, <laughs> not seeing anything, and you're just chilling. So, I'll leave this one in. We have still another one remaining, so these are the last two. Where did everything go? Where did everything go? We have a T-Rex. One remaining. The other one is gone. Where is the other one gone? It escaped the island? Where is it? Is it swimming in the ocean and going a lot <laughs> off into prehistoric planet? Got eaten by a Mosasaurus. What? Where'd it go? Okay. How many Allosauruses do we have left? Oh, one. There's always one of each. And it's hiding near the log. The T-Rex is eyeing it. Then we have the Allosaurus snapping towards the baby T-Rex right there. And will not confront it. it <laughs> it's probably a very smart thing to do. Oh my word, look at that. What a survivor. Beta. With 50% health left. Did you actually defeat something in your record? No, you did not. Of course, you just... Uh, <laughs> A hit and oh an instant ran by the Carnotaurus and the Dominion Gigas are out They are out of there That is a tragedy waiting to happen and it, they're out I actually thought they would have more of a fighting chance, but all these Carnotaurus are not to be underestimated They are out the two Gigas the minion ends right there. I guess we're not gonna have that next movie are we? <laughs> and then the Allos are yep pretty smart healing up Alice are very smart this battle. Uh, well, along with, we forgot to name you, little baby Rexy right there. Because you are Beta. Oh no. What are you doing, Beta? Have you begun hunt being on hunting down or battling something? You're being stalked by a tiny Dilophosaurus. Allosaurus has begun battling. Let's call you Little Al because that's a little reference to, well, you know, Little Al right there. Beautiful. And it will fight Rexy. In the Jurassic Park universe. Walking with dinosaurs. Will it walk for another day? That's the question. And another episode. The health I think will go down. Or might actually do better than the Spinosaurus. Oh it does do better than the Spino. 86 so the health does go down. 
Beautiful dance moves, uh, little owl. Maybe <laughs> watch out for your toe. That's all I'm saying. Look at that. And uh, T-Rex has one. Look at that intimidation display. That's awesome. Talking T-Rex should have uh, commentated over this episode. But no. The, the Velociraptors are still strong with this one. Carnotaurus, Dino Fight with Little Out right there. Then we have the Carnotaurus with a little social animation right there. That's adorable. We still have three of them. No, two of them. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was the other aloe. Oh, no. Beta, watch out. <laughs> Beta, please. Run away. Oh, my word. I don't know if Beta will actually... Yeah, survive Dawn. I'm not too sure. Blue is not here to help you this time. And it's scared. It's scared. That is quite sad. The Allosaurus still roaming that area. How many dinosaurs we have left? Oh, we have no Stegosauruses left. It's starved. No way. There was a carcass. Right there. I can even see it. Why? Oh no, next to the balloon. Ah, oh, oh, that's sad. Look, you did very well. Spinosaurus has actually gone down. I think that's the T-Rex is doing. I think that's the T-Rex is doing. And Beta is also slowly going down right there. The Carnotauruses are great on health. They are not starving at all. The Lofosaurus has been, uh-oh. Hunting? How is it hunting it? Oh no, it's the circle of doom. Oh no, the circle of stunning doom. Carnotaurus, you are out. You had to do avoid these. And down it goes. Same for you. Wow, these are <laughs> sacrificial <laughs> lambs right there, the Dilos. How many Dilos do we still have left? Oh, that is the Dilo eating from the spider body. Look at that, an actual confrontation right now. No, I don't want to place down a... <laughs> Carnotaurus has begun fighting little owl right there. Little Al, you have to do this. You have to. You have to battle them and have to take down one of these dinosaurs. But no. Carnotaurus, how are you on 100%? Oh, but you're getting close to starving. You're getting close. Beta is on 4% health. You can't see it. But it's on 3, 2... Oh, no, that's sad. The counting down for Beta. And down goes Beta. Right there. Oh, that is so sad. That is so sad. I'm glad that didn't happen uh, in the movie. Beta has gone down. And, well, she did very well. She did better than I expected, actually. She outlived so many other dinosaurs. So she is actually in fifth place. Yeah, Kano, T-Rex, and then Aloe. And then fourth, yeah, fifth place. Okay, Rexy and Big Al rematch right there. Who is going to win? I have no idea. I have no idea, but Rexy is fighting Lil Al right there. Lil Al getting some damage. 41 versus 83. Is it enough? Lil Al on 42 and 68 right there. That is interesting. Dolophus are still on 100% and <laughs> hopping around the area right there. Wow. Who would have thought this nice enclosure would have turned into a literal bloodbath? <laughs> that is, took a dark turn right there. Carnotaurus still on 100% and not starving. Okay, that might, and it's scaring away all the other dinosaurs. It has the best fighting chance yet. Has the best fighting chance yet. So many dinosaurs. I have to speed it up because, well, even though the running and walking would look a little bit funny. But, <laughs> oh, little owl's hungry. It needs to take down something. No, don't let the app episode that starred you actually become a reality. Oh, it's fighting Rexy. That's not a good sign. You will go down. I knew it. It's like fate that this baby T-Rex is the new adult Spino in the game. If you face it off, you are doomed. Or like Indominus Rex. Yep. Yep. No, I didn't fight with Rexy right there. Little Owl's gone down. It had something on its toe. It actually has scars on its uh, foot. Right there. It is accurate. <laughs> well, down goes Little Owl right there. Allosaurus had never seen... Such, yeah, BS before. That's pretty much it. <laughs> because Rexy is on 100% health. I can't make this up. Rexy is on 100%. It does not have any modifications. Not at all. Rexy is just very uh, overpowered right now in the battle arena. That's pretty much it. Rexy's doing very well. It has five victories. Five of them. Wow, and a dominance of 377. That's not. An adult T-Rex sometimes can't even reach that. 
That's amazing. This is act this was Rexy in her prime when she literally hatched. What was her story right there? Carnotaurus on 100%, Rexy on 100%. And Dilophosaurus on 99. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, no. If the Dilophosaurus decides to lock down Carnotaurus or the T-Rex, it's all game over. Oh, no. Wow. If this Dilophosaurus, you literally hold the key to determining the victor. For this episode, if you decide to actually battle T-Rex, the T-Rex will lose. If you actually decide to battle Kano, the Kano will lose. And then the T-Rex would have won. Or, and we all hope for this, that the T-Rex will just normally take down the Kano, or the Kano would just normally take down the T-Rex in a fight. But the Carnotaurus is actually healing up right there. Oh, that's bad for the T-Rex. Where's the T-Rex? Rexy? What are you doing? There's no food there, and you're running low. Let's speed it up real quickly. Oh, we have to keep an eye on the Dilo. Little Al's body's right there. It can still be consumed by Rexy if you walk over it. That is an interaction. An interaction, so you can't be interrupted by the Dilo. Yes, you will actually um, eat from it right there. You have yourself a little snack. The Lophosaurus. Oh, my. This has become more <laughs> nerve-wracking than I thought. Oh gosh, okay, it's snapping towards something. Okay, that's the Carnotaurus. Will it happen? Oh, this might be one of the final battles. The baby T-Rex is closing in on the Carnotaurus. A tail attack right there. Oh, does it have scars already? It does have scars. The little baby arena. Look at that. A tail attack by the Carno. <laughs> Which one will win? I don't see I only see scars on the tail and the head of the Carno. Oh, it doesn't look good. But with the heavy tail slams, is this it? Will the Kano go down? Another tail slam. Is it enough? We don't even see normal and it's teleporting. Will it run away? It does run away. It gets free. 80% versus 20. Oh, let's see the dominance. Oh, it's much slower. But you also have five victories on your name. Fight record, five. And one loss. 138. Yeah, that was just the loss against the T-Rex. How many losses? This, oh, now six victories, zero losses. Rexy is dominating Isla Sauna right now. It is dominating it. Dilophosaurus is starving and will actually go for some food. This is... Oh, my word. Totally stunned me right there. Who is going to win this battle royale of who is the strongest baby dinosaur in the current game? We're about to find out. Carnotaurus is slowly but surely healing up. Oh, no. You're walking towards the dino. Don't... Don't! I see you iron link the Dilo. <laughs> no, don't do it. Don't eye the Dilo. Okay, there you go. You got free from the curse. <laughs> it's like an actual curse where you actually interact with the Dilo. Okay, it broke free from it. Rexy, you stay far away from this Dilo. It is literally <laughs> a reaper. If you interact with the Dilo, it's not going to end well. Please get away from that Dilo. It's hopping around topping around oh no oh no it's looking for rexy no please don't no don't rexy don't no don't i know it's too small but don't let that size fool you please don't okay thank god <laughs> no please don't do that oh no please don't go into an interact please walk away walk away run away there you go oh there you go oh you actually were eyeing the aloe or i mean the carno Whew, that was <laughs> that was uh, quite a relief right there. Oh, now you're just in a position where he's like, uh, a parasol, oh, I don't know what dinosaur is coming in. There you go, that's the final fight. T-Rex has done it. The baby Rexy has won right there. Look at that, enjoying your little snack. I should actually move you closer. Oh, wow, that was nerve-wrecking. Oh, my word. And there you go. Now it actually looks like you are next to your prize and you are the victor. Oh my word. That was so intense. <laughs> that was so intense. Oi! You, you, what? You secretly worked with Rexy right there. Oh my word. That was so nerve wracking right there. Oh, there was literally a 50 50 chance. Oh my gosh. Rexy, what did you do to me? <laughs> Rexy could have lost if. 
Wow, that was such a plot twist right there. I thought it was going to interact with the Dilophosaurus. And we all know what was going to happen if it did. And right there. Okay, Dilophosaurus, you will actually lose if you face off Rexy. Because, boop, there you go. Actually out of there. And Rexy, as you can see, is the final dinosaur in this enclosure. Which means with seven victories right now on his name, seven... I can't, if I scroll up, maybe you'll see it. No, I can't scroll up, scroll down either. Uh, seven victories on its name. Absolutely beautiful right there. With a total appear score of 1,266. Wow. Rexy, the little baby Rexy has won it for the baby battle royale on Isla Sora. A secret experiment Dr. Henry Wu advised me to have right there. So now we all know what made Rexy so strong. And over time in the movies, in, in canon-wise, they kind of nerfed her down. But in her prime was uh, where she started off young. Right there. Or you can consider this as the baby from the Lost World. Uh, right there. Or that was the one getting knocked out by the Spinosaurus. So this kind of be like a little revenge type in a different universe. Right there. <laughs> so Rexy, welcome. There you go. <laughs> You'll be transported to Isla Nublar soon. So there you have it. A beautiful battling episode. That was quite interesting to see. And finally, normally the T-Rexes never win if they are hap um, competing. In a Battle Royale episode, the adult T-Rexes, they never win. They, they only win if it's in the baby uh, form. So there you have it. Let me know. Did you actually vote correctly this time? <laughs> After voting T-Rexes multiple times, you're like, um, yeah, I don't know if I should vote T-Rex anymore. But if you still did, there you have it. You voted correctly. Now, if you enjoyed this episode, let me know with a like. And subscribe if you'd like to get notified for more of these Battle Royale episodes in the Jurassic World games right uh, there. Thank you so much for watching. Now, that was an unexpected roller coaster ride for sure. If you'd like to see these baby dinosaurs featured more and interact with their parents for special animations, go click and watch this video right here. It's a pretty cute episode.